Welcome back to our community and your voice. So you're probably wondering, okay, every year we have the wonderful, the gorgeous. Oh, they know it by now. <laughs> you know it by now, Ava Franke is with us here in the studio tonight. And just a, a little bit of a shout out to Frank Ficini, who actually puts up with us every year, every time we come on our community and your voice. So Ava, you've got an announcement you to know, make. Lucas, you mentioned Frank's name. I yes. have to say more yes. than that about that. Ava, a toast to Frank. Puccini, yes. yes, a toast to Frank. <laughs> but a toast out to Frank Ficini, who puts up with us every year. No, Frank has been the voice to us. He's not only been the yes, voice to me has, yes. in the last 20 years, yeah. but also, yeah, first of all, what you do, Suzette, every oh, time I turn on the television, yeah, well, I said, there she goes. I have to yeah. see what she's wearing. Now, look what she's <laughs> wearing today. Look at what she's wearing today. Ava picked this out for me, and we had a hard time because I didn't have a top to wear, but I came out with Don't it. Don't worry about yeah. it. She found the right top yeah. immediately yeah. in her closet. Yeah. One day I'm going to have you. We are going to have in our own TV talk. show. <laughs> I know. I wanted to do a huge, huge uh, Brimfield flea market on our I state in Connecticut. State. It would be Sergio's garage. Yeah. It would be my mama's kitchen. Yeah. Eva's closet. Why won't we do that? Let's do that soon. Okay. <laughs> you know, in October, when the summer is over. Yeah, and it's nice and, and cool. So much things to get rid of. Yeah. Honest to God. Yeah. And actually, right now, when we are saying so much things to get rid of, I said to you when we talked today, I said, Suzette, last year we were here, we were all dressed in lily. Yes, lily, we had our lily, lily on. I don't know if you remember. We had lily. I, you know what I feel like? Our heart was light last year. Yes, it our was. Our heart was light. Yeah. This year, I was, we're going to go meet here, and Frank is gracious enough, and you gracious yeah, enough to say, come yeah. on, Eva, let's, let's do, do it again yep. for the concert, which I thank you guys, both of you, from the oh, bottom of my heart. Happy to do it. I, I said, what am I going to put on? And the only thing I was able to think of is put on. I said, God, <laughs> God damn it. I'm reaching for my serious jacket, and I don't want to be in flowers. And, no, uh, no. To me, the decision that I have made, it is breaks my heart because yeah. it's the final concert. Yes. And, um, yeah. And Very this, emotional. And no, Very at this emotional. second, I yeah. also wanted to say everybody who's listening and hope you late at night, get yourself a glass of wine. Um, it is time. It is 25th anniversary yes, concert. Yes, Yeah. And it is, um, I think Sergio was alive. He would say to me, Eva, that's enough, honey. And um, along the way, we reached something I never thought I would ever reach. Yeah. It is thank you to the people who loved him. Thank you to the people who remembers him still. And we're still expecting, by the of way, course, over yeah. 5,000 5, people, people to the on concert. the grounds. And um, those people uh, were unreal. They are, mm -hmm. you know, we are getting older. Mm -hmm. And um, Sergio's fans are, yes, in the high 80s, mm -hmm. 90s. And um, they're still coming. But his music also it, it, lives that on. That music lives yeah, forever. It, yeah, forever. And you know something? You and I... Because began, of the classics, too. He sang classics. The classics are forever. is right. I'm strong. I got a little bit emotional a minute ago. It's okay. I'm strong. It's, it's okay. perfect timing. And also it's time. Along the way, some of you never noticed that I lost Ava. I really have lost Ava up to a point. My family is cry, crying out for me. Ava, when are you coming home? Ava, what are you doing? And they need me. You know? I need them. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm up in the age myself. My, my sisters, my brother, my brother just lost his wife. The kids are growing. And uh, I missed a lot of times not being with the family. So I want to spend more time with family. I want to see all of you at TGMX. If you see me, <laughs> say hello. 
<laughs> Let me tell you, it's going to be the best concert damn concert ever anybody ever. ever saw. I promise you that. I just want to okay. get it out there. Frank did show it um, uh, as we started the show, but there you go at the bottom here. It's the 25th. It's the final memorial concert. It's August 24th at 2 p.m., and we're still selling tickets. There's still Doors tickets open. for sale. Doors open at 12 o'clock. Right. Okay. You're welcome to come at 12, uh, 12 as well. Between you and me. Well, don't say anything to the, 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 the police department. Come as soon as you can, because <laughs> i tell you what, I, the museum is prepared. The, the chapel is ready. Yeah, the grounds um, are beautiful. The grounds. And you know what happened during these 25 years, which you must know, okay? People came. They never, some never knew each other. They bring their picnic. They bring their own wine. Mm -hmm. We sell nothing, mm -hmm. okay? And they became friends. They sub come, they say hello to each other, they talk, they're greeting each other, they said, have a piece of cheese, have a salami, have a glass of wine. It's a happy occasion. Uh, if you ever came, don't miss it. Please come. Look how beautiful. Please yeah. come, Please because come. I will need you there. I will yeah. need you there. Yeah. And I uh, promise you the best concert ever. We have six tenors, uh, some of them, you happen to see one of oh, them. Oh yeah, we've got a he great lineup. Like, no, yeah. he looks like a young DiCaprio. Tall, handsome, blonde, blue-eyed, and he hits notes like your your heart takes a flight. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you have Same a few surprises. As you owe big surprises from the Metropolitan yes. Opera House. Yeah. From the Metropolitan Opera House, then, ladies and gentlemen, the tenor Mr. Marcello Giordani. Some legends are coming and singing in Sergio's memory some of Sergio's, some of his loved his love Italian song. classics. Um, like, uh, I went to the Vero Beach Opera. I'm a, a judge. Right, every at the year Vero they Beach ask you Opera. To, to, every to judge. single year. I've been a judge for the past uh, nine, ten years at Vero wow. Beach Opera. So, Marcello Giordani from the mm -hmm. Met yeah. uh, could not make Vero Beach Opera's competition this year. So, they brought in um, Deborah Void, Deborah Void from the Met, okay? And she, make the long story short, when we spoke and we shook hands, she said, Eva, I, uh, so I always said, I said, you know something, you guys from the Met, Sergio crossed over, even though he was a classical tenor. And her answer was, she said, Eva, I love your husband's voice. Oh. And he said, matter yeah. of fact, Tonight I'm singing Matinata. Matinata. I said, oh. I said, Sergio. you know, no. I said, you know, that is Sergio's one of his oh, signature uh, aria. So she said, oh, she said, oh, I'd be happy. So make the long story short, the big concert takes place in Vero Beach, and uh, she comes on stage and she said, tonight I'm going to sing Matinata, and Eva is dedicated to you. So she dedicated, and then when I went to thank her, she said to me, I'm coming to your, uh, to your concert. She's coming to the she concert? She is coming. And she's going oh to sing gosh. Sergio's Matinata. Yeah. And something else, after she and I, we sat down, we had, yes, a good glass of wine. And I, I As said, you can see, oh yeah, good this glass is of what wine. We do. Anyway, so I, we were talking, and I said to her about the foundation and the young and the, the, the you are there, you all know. The music, what's happening mm -hmm. today in the music world is, 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 is disgusting, okay? Uh, the way it sounds like. The kids need to hear that music. Mm -hmm. Their soul needs to mellow a little bit. So the, she said to me, Eva, I'd like to sing another song if you like. What would you like to do? So I picked it for her, 
climb every mountain. Oh my gosh, that's going to bring stop. Don't, the house down. Don't ever stop till you mm -hmm. find your dream. Yeah. Okay. So she's going to sing to the young kids and climb every mountain. Front of the stage, I'm putting blankets out. And I want the young ones to come forward and sit in the front, mm -hmm. listen to those voices, mm -hmm. fly into the air. And um, about seven years ago, um, I have a, and I, I can't call it my caretaker because he's not my caretaker. Sometimes he likes to, how, how do I say these things? I'm not even supposed to talk about this. <laughs> but you know, we have sometimes too many coyotes and so many yeah. deers in the property. Yeah. Even the surgeon never liked hunting, okay? But you need to clean up yeah. the house yeah. a little bit yeah. sometimes. So he said to me, Mrs. Frankie, uh, I would like to help you with that because the coyotes were hung, you know, mm -hmm. too loud. Hunting. Yeah. So she had a little daughter with him. And this little girl, um, he says to me, Mrs. Frankie, she came to the concert. And ever since then, she wants to sing. She wants to sing. She wants to sing. So five days ago, um, She's ready. She wanted to come to the concert and she wanted to know, could she possibly sing? Well, she came in and um, ready. She's nine, 10 years old, nine, 10 years old. And um, she was nervous. I could see it in her little lips. She was kind of close her little lips and she wanted to sing me a Bambino Cara. <laughs> So she starts it, but she's looking at me because she's nervous. I said, don't be nervous. I don't know too much about all this. All I know, just sing, honey. Just sing, sing, sing. So she started, and I saw her little lips were a little Quivering. bit too closed. I yeah. said, honey, open, open your mouth. Let it fly. Throw your... Suddenly, a voice came out of her that it was enormously wonderful. And her little body, the way she shook, the way she sang. Anyway, make the story short. Um, she's she gonna be sitting heart. in the front. She put the whole heart in oh, there. And I feel, yeah. I said, you know, yeah. if I started yeah. in this little heart about four years ago that she wants to sing, uh, that's altogether yeah. worth it for me. But yeah. it's just simply worth it. So, anyway, there's gonna be a lot of surprises at the concert. A lot concert. of surprises in 25 years. It is years. going to be, um, oh my God, ABA Academy, which is the most well known. Of ABA Vocal of course, yes. Academy yeah, of Art, yeah. okay, and they are coming, and um, they all magnificent. We're gonna have seven tenors, we're gonna have five sopranos uh, at times together. <laughs> And um, so don't miss it this year. Okay. And we're going to talk Come a little on. bit about okay. the conductor, too. Because oh, you're dear, bringing God. back David, okay? okay? And then we're bringing back... Dave, okay. David Lamage, okay. When I, started, David. when I started 25 years ago, again, what, how am I going to do this? Albano Ballet, yeah. Joseph Albano, yeah. Joseph, yeah. came to me. God bless. And Julia. Okay, Julia. God bless Julia. They came to me, and he said to me, Eva... There's a young conduct conductor at the um, Yale University. Mm -hmm. Yale University. He's wonderful. Come on, give him a chance. So he came. He was very impressed. And I was more impressed than him, but I couldn't let him know. Because <laughs> when we started out, all I had is enthusiasm in my heart 
and the wish and the dream that and the vision you I, had the and vision. the vision the vision and the vision that this will go on this will go on it, i wanted only one concert to Sergio's memory that he's not forgotten and then it just kept growing and look where we are yeah. 25 years later make the long story short so uh, he did it for many 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 years i think almost 20 years until he got offer from an incredible yes. chance to yes. be the conductor of the young musicians of the world. And he left us. Mm -hmm. We had tears in a stage that mm -hmm. night. And I he remember. Said, yeah. And I said, but you're welcome back anytime. And anyway, he was gone. One day I get knock on the door and it was a lot David. to do with you guys. Yeah, yeah, our, our captain of our police uh, department. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Jerry, related to Jerry's his wife, related. Jackie. That's correct. And that is an incredible conductor. Some of you maybe don't mm -hmm. even know. Uh, Westerly born, actually, Pocatuck. Mm -hmm. Yes. In Pocatuck. Yeah. His mother still lives in Pocatuck. Yeah. His family David, all lives in Pocatuck. David yeah. Lamar. Yeah, the best. For the past 17 years, he's been and still is the conductor of the New York City Ballet. Mm -hmm. And um, he came and he said he would love to give back. Mm -hmm. And he heard that I'm missing a conductor. He would love to come back. And thanks to Jerry, mm -hmm. Jerry, 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 Jerry yeah. <laughs> but you know, he's actually part of the family now. David has really been yes, definitely just really part. So of the he family. came back, and now this is the fourth year he's yes. conducting for yes, us. Yeah. And um, anyway, so this year, so I'll be getting ready for a final concert. So I said to David, I said, David. Do you mind if I invite back our first mm -hmm. conductor, Jeff Domoto? Mm -hmm. He said, no, Eva, I think it would be wonderful. So I called Jeff. He responded back to me, and he said, Eva, thank you so much for the call. Yes, I will be there. So the two of them will work to end together up that to night. Each other. Yeah. So we're going to have two conductors yeah. this yeah. year. Okay. So it's a must. And as we go into, and, and there's going to be some videos that you're going to see throughout uh, the program uh, this evening. But just a shout out, August 24th, uh, 2019, this year, and it's going to be a beautiful Saturday. Grounds open up at 12 o'clock, but Ava always says, come a little bit earlier. Come, come. So just come. We can't, we can't, come, say, come, come we earlier. can't say things too come, much. Come. But um, you'll, you'll, you'll know that, um, that all this activity is going to be going on. But Ava, wrap up the 25 years and some of your favorite moments and some of your, what do you remember the best when you first started out? The first started out, I could not believe that how people were coming and they, with love in their heart, that all thanks to Sergio, all what he yeah. left behind, yeah. okay? I felt like I became the antenna among, between him and his audience of right. 28 years of his connection. career. I, they adopted me. I, maybe they adopted me because I am, I am the reason Sergio loved me. Yeah. I don't know how to yeah, describe yeah. that. Yeah. Um, and well, your heart is filled with love. And, and, and they love the fact that I would, one lady said, he said, Eva, thank you for keeping our matadors memories alive. The reason they say matador, because Sergio was not a regular tenor on stage who stood there and sang. Sergio, when he sang, he, he gave presence. his heart. He, he, people say to me, said, Eva, I was sitting in the back, best role, the very last role in the theater, but I know he was singing to me. I thought to myself, no, 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 no. He was he singing, was singing to, to you. He was singing That's to me. That's how you <laughs> fell in love with him. He sang to you, Ava. Sergio was personal. And uh, something Sergio always said and taught me, and I carried on till today. And last night I was working with a conductor, mm -hmm. and I worked with the kids who are singing, and what they're going to do. I said, do it with your heart. Feel it, and do it with passion. And if you don't do it with passion, it's not going to work. Right. So the singer, right. they sing. You got to sing with your heart. Yeah. And when you yeah. sing with your heart, your audience feels that. Yes, and absolutely. So I learned that one thing. When I got up in the stage and talking, I never been in a stage before in my life. Okay. Well, you would never know it. Well, the fact that I studied a little ballet when I was a little girl, <laughs> and my dream was is to be a ballerina. 
Okay, it really. Um, but it comes it, so natural to you because I think the audience loved the music, you so much. The music always touched yeah. me. The music yeah. always lifted my soul and touched me. So, um, what I, what I felt from it is that people who came, they say, Ava, when that music hits the air. Even the leaves on the tree moving differently. They they think it to me. They, one day you everybody said, look, 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 look what? And I'm on stage. I said, what are they looking? And they said, Eva, a rainbow came up. Yes, I Just remember the that. Just the time when our song was, it's impossible. Yeah. And that was our song because I wasn't easy. <laughs> So when Sergio, you can take that whichever no, no, way no, you no, want to take it. You know, it. all two years, when I, I, I had a crush on Sergio, and when I was, he, he said, I want to see you, I want to see you. I said, that's impossible, that's impossible. So when the song It's Impossible came out, it was by Perry Como. Yeah, of course, yeah. Um, I'm sitting in the front row, again, adoringly, just <laughs> looking at him. And he looked down and he said, this song i like to dedicate to someone. And he went, it's impossible. And he was thinking right into my face. Anyway, it's the truth. It's the truth. Wow. Okay. Anyway, wow. Th again, those are the moments I will yeah, never the forget. Love story. Long as I live. And sometimes people say to me, Eva, I, are you seeing anyone? Eva, is it normal? And I, I said, I'm still in love with Sergio. I am yeah. still in love with Sergio. It's yeah. more than normal. It's yes. The, oh, it absolutely. The, it's your heart. It's your, it's your heart. It Ava. was my heart. It's, it's your heart. My heart. So I and, don't and I think maybe that carried on the concert mm -hmm. because I think everybody who met me or knew me or they know it is comes from my heart. Yeah. You know what my dream is that through this concert, if we crusaded, and I say we, all of you right here, if we crusaded that to keep romantic music alive, it doesn't have to be, let's say, completely classical. And I always say that if a young heart can possibly pick an extra beat, that means a new idol is born. And when a new idol is born, the music world is ready to take another turn. And I think it's such time for it. So besides keeping my darling Sergio's memory I really, truly, that's my dream to keep that romantic music alive for the young kids to hear. Yes. And I want, I really want, and I'm going to say want, I want them to feel what I felt through that music. To dream and to fantasize and to long and to, to feel the beauty of the, dream, of, of the music. Like all of you, when you feel it, you feel your soul is lifted. Yeah. And so be heartful, be with yeah. me. Please come to the concert August 24th. It will be, oh, by the way, um, we are filming this particular concert for a PBS special. And my dream was and still is, which by the way, I'm sharing it with you right now. Okay, is this a surprise? <laughs> I don't know. You it never is. know what it happens is. in it this is. show. It will be, um, yeah. We did it, PB, uh, it's Connecticut Public yeah, Television. Yeah, Connecticut Public. Connecticut yeah. Public Television. There you have the okay. information below. Yeah, Connecticut Public Television. Anyway, but it's going to be um, interviewed. Some of you are going to be say, why are you here? Say, why are you here? Okay. <laughs> I'd get right up in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> and I ask everybody to, the spirit of the final concert, mm -hmm. um, let it, everybody put on your best summer whites. Every year we did yep, a team. Yep. Once it was the Great Gatsby. One yep. it, it is, I say, put on your best summer whites and your straw hat. That's more than Connecticut, yeah. more than summertime, and, and it's something spiritual about it. So put on your best summer whites, put on your straw hats, and um, bring your wine, bring your picnic, and leave the surprise up to me. And when you leave, I hope and I know you're going to live with something in your heart that you carry on forever. Tell us a little bit about um, 
and without giving away too many surprises on how you're going to open up the concert. Oh, okay. Well, they say the talent somehow never dies. Just like once you drop a cherry tree, a tree yeah. maybe just someone yeah. seem to be popping up. Sergio um, is from a musical family. Not his mother, not his father ever sang. But Sergio is a five-year-old little boy. Um, on top of the kitchen table in his long little nightgown. By the way, it was white nightgown. <laughs> he was singing top of the kitchen table. His papa had a very falsetto, falsetto voice, but he only sang along for the family. Along, right, right. It wasn't anything nothing, professional. Nothing. Um, along the way, uh, Sergio had a sister, Mirella. Mirella was the first one in the family who sang, and only playing, she finished the music conversatory of Milan, wow. and she played piano like an angel. And when she wanted to start to make money, she played the piano bar, and she sang with it. That's all, she sang with it. Along the way, uh, Sergio, he was 18 years old. By the time he was a popping teenager. And there was a hit song those days called Bacha Me, Kiss Me. So Sergio starts singing Bacha Me, da 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 da. And oh before gosh. you know it, he was named Mr. Bacha Me. And suddenly he was singing everywhere. Then the war break out. Yes. And then Sergio he, was taken to the war. He was 19, 18 years old. He was he, in Europe. Yeah, you had to yeah. go into the army. We should be in America by now too. So we won't have such a stupid teenagers in this world <laughs> doing stupid oh things. Oh my God. But I'm sorry, I'm telling you, you the truth. You heard it. You know, <laughs> sometimes it's good for them. They wear yeah. some manners. Yeah. They discipline. Yeah, I know. Okay, make up your bed in the morning and respect. We're going to be writing that's a book needed. here. That's um, needed. No, oh, that's needed. Yeah. But anyway, so where you see Sergio in the army, there he is, guitar in his hands, and he's singing. Um, after that, the, after the war, um, make the long story short, he went to a party, an opera party. He liked a little ballerina. He just, <laughs> he was had he the weakness. On, on he had the weakness for little yeah. ballerinas. Yeah. And he... Um, by the piano, end up singing. Yeah. And so that's how he started. So while he was yeah. singing, somebody came up. He said, how would you like the leading role in Gypsy Baron? Yeah, yeah that was Sergio. That was the voice. Ava, we're going to have to, we only have a few minutes. No. And you, uh, yeah, we're going to have, you're gonna have, have to have more show. of this <laughs> at the concert. I want your sort of final words, uh, you know, to end, the, end this particular show and to invite everybody out to the concert. But it's going to be the surprise. Okay. All right. It's the gonna be the surprise. Begins. The concert begins. Yeah. Sergio's great great nephew. Yep. And your and niece. And my great great, great niece. niece. Yeah. Going to open it going up. Going to open the concert. Yeah. Okay. So everybody again, um, just wrapping it up. Uh, you'll see some videos interjected in tonight's show. And Ava, we love you. It's I love 20, you guys. 25 years, and uh, so that hopefully you be, she'll come back and see us. You'll again. be my pal. Yeah. You'll be my Forever. best friend. Forever. Forever and ever. Forever. Here's to 25 years. 25 okay. years. Thank yeah. you. Thank Our you, friend. Our community. And your I see voice, you all and we'll see August you at the concert. August 24th at the concert, and we toast again. Okay. Ciao.